Think of wings. Actually, it is very true that from our very childhood, we learned that wings are the main part associated with flying. But today, in this video, we will change your complete conception. They don't have any wings, neither have they had any relatives that can fly, but due to adaptation and evolution, over time, now they can easily fly from one place to another place. These animals have developed their own ingenious ways of traveling from one place to another. This helps them for different purposes, like finding food or escaping from the predators. Now, we will come to the main content of this video today, as well as discuss about some amazing animals that can fly even without wings. Number 1. Flying Kalugo Firmly grasping a tree, at first sight, we could mistake the Kalugo for the normal lemur. However, when this animal jumps up, it would boot into a silhouette. The legs and the tail of this animal are connected by the skin membrane at the end of each part to help enhance the ability to glide when needed. It can stretch this membrane to glide over wide distances, up to 150 meters. Number 2. Flying Snake Flying snakes of the Chrysopelia genus are deliberate and skilled gliders that exploit an up-promising shape of their bodies to maximum effect. On the whole, long thin objects like snakes do not fly well, but these snakes adapt to a J-shape and undulate their bodies to maximize the lift that can come when the air flows over a concave surface. Boomerangs fly in a similar way. Flying snakes are careful to choose their desired landing spot before launching themselves into the air, and they are surprisingly accurate. These snakes are found across Southeast Asia and Southern China. They are venomous, but only dangerous to small animal prey. Number 3. Flying Fish Flying fish are a common sight for seafarers and can be found in all the oceans of the world. Usually, they live near the surface of the water and are often seen flying in shoals as they flee from predators. Species like the tropical two-winged flying fish, Exocetus volatans, are highly evolved to glide. The fish's backbone is partly fused together to make it very rigid and the fins are very large and stabilized by powerful muscles. A flying fish can catch a favorable wind that can glide for up to 400 meters, though usually they fly for about 50. Speeds of 70 km per hour, 40 miles per hour are not uncommon. This will get them a speeding ticket in most towns. Fish have been seen flying as high as 6 meters, nearly 20 feet, more than enough to fly over a single story house. Number 4. Helen Flying Frog Helen Tree Frog is about 10 cm long, long belly, wide rimmed eyes, webbed toes that are easily to grip and jump from tree to tree, from tree canopy to the ground. This large green frog has avoided the attention of biologists until now by colliding between tree tops by large webbed limbs and they just drum down to breed in rain pools. Large fruit membranes allow them to fly from tree to tree at great distances. That also helps them slide from trees to the ground. To avoid their enemies, they often have swinged themselves on branches. Female often use skin on their hands to support flying. Number 5. Flying Lizard For the tiny Draco lizard, moving among the trees in the jungles of Southeast Asia is an essential task for saving danger, attacking mates, and finding meals. Scumbering across the forest floor where brothers lurk can be perilous. So, over thousands of years, the Draco lizard has taken the ground out of the equation by adapting the capacity of flight. These so-called flying dragons have a set of elongated ribs, which they can extend and retract. Between these ribs are folds of skin that rest flat against the body when not in use, but act as wings when unfurled, allowing the Draco to catch the wind and glide. The lizards use their long, slender tails to steer themselves and each story can carry them up to 30 feet. Number 6. Flying Squirrel Animals that live in forest trees can have trouble getting about. The forest floor is a dangerous place. Many birds lurk in the undergrowth. It is also a lot of hard energy-consuming work to climb down to the ground and then up again to reach a fruit or insect snack in the next tree. Flying squirrels have the perfect solution. They climb from tree to tree to get the best meal when gravity-bound predators can only look on in awe. 
Skin flaps between the body and the animal's limbs produce a wind-like surface that the squirrel controls expertly. The video above shows just how much control a flying squirrel has. Flying squirrels can make 90-degree turns in the air and land effortlessly by using their skin folds like the flaps on an aircraft to break before impact. Number 7. Balloon Spider Jumping spiders are impressive, but it is the ballooning spiders that set the flight records. Ballooning spiders can travel thousands of miles through the air. They routinely turn up in Antarctica, the most remote place on the planet. They are often the first creatures to reach those new volcanic islands that pop up out of the oceans from time to time. The spider climbs to the top of a rock or plant and waits for a gust to win. It then shoots out a jet of gossamer, very fine seal-like material usually used to make a web. This catches an air current and lifts the spider skyward. Often, the webs that the spiders produce are similar to open parachutes or balloons. They fill with air and produce a large surface area to catch the wind. Interestingly, right? Nature is wonderful. Nature has created animals with no wings but can fly, and also has not forgotten to create those that have wings but cannot fly. What species is that? First is a penguin. During evolution, penguins' wings transform to become more adapted to swimming and diving in the ocean, where they can search for food in order to efficiently use their energy. At the same time, the energy required for penguins to fly is getting bigger and bigger. At a certain point, this bird couldn't bear to spend so much energy flying, so it gave up its ability to move in the air and gradually lost its ability to fly. Next, it is impossible not to mention the ostrich. Why is this bird called a bird but can't fly? Because air has only a very small lift for the creatures. Only a small bird can spread its wings to fly because it requires sizable chest muscles. The large body birds had no space to hold such large pectoral muscles. So, the ostriches, some of the large birds in South America and Australia, are so heavy that they can't fly. Kiwi Bird It is a very famous flightless bird and has become a symbol of New Zealand.
This bird is really special because it has many mammal characteristics. The kiwi has a good hearing and smell. The body temperature ranges from 36 to 39 degrees Celsius, lower than other birds. And there are many other birds that have wings but cannot fly that we want to show you in this video, but the length of the video is limited. If you know any more species, please give us a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching the video.